but on Tuesday, Gates will be offered a brief reprieve. He's being allowed to leave his Richmond area home to cast a ballot in Virginia's statewide election. Gates asked U.S. Judge Amy Berman Jackson on Monday to allow him out of his house vote, and she quickly agreed. Under Virginia law, Gates could have cast an absentee ballot. Confined, awaiting trial is one of almost two dozen reasons Virginia voters can cite when asking to cast an absentee ballot, whether in person or by mail. But his indictment came only a day before the deadline for registering to vote absentee by mail. Gates faces a number of felony charges, and if he's ultimately convicted, the Commonwealth's Constitution will automatically strip him of his voting rights. Virginia is one of the few states in the country that does this. But he still may be able to vote, after serving his sentence, thanks in part to bipartisan efforts in Richmond. In 2013, then-Governor Bob McDonnell, a Republican, made it easier for nonviolent felons to get their voting rights back. Since last year, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe has restored the voting rights of more than 150,000 former convicts across the state. The move has drawn criticism from some Republicans in the state Senate, who earlier this year tried to pass a constitutional amendment to allow the legislature, not the governor, to decide which felons would get their voting rights restored. The measure was rejected in the General Assembly. Republican gubernatorial candidate Ed Gillespie recently injected the issue of felons voting into the race against Democrat Ralph Northam. Although both largely stand on the same side of the issue, Gillespie criticized Northam for going too far in letting felons vote. In a TV ad, Gillespie said McAuliffe and Northam sought to give all felons, even violent ones, the chance to vote after serving their sentence. Virginians who have paid their debt to society and are living an honest life should have their rights restored. But Ralph Northam's policy of automatic restoration of rights for unrepentant, unreformed violent criminals is wrong, he said in the ad. The ad drew criticism from the editorial board of the Washington Post, which said Gillespie succumbed to the demagogic temptation to play on fears arising from the rights restoration policy of Governor Terry McAuliffe, D, and his ally Mr. Northam. Gillespie's campaign website does not say he would not restore voting rights for violent felons, though if he follows McDonald's lead, he will likely focus on nonviolent felons. If Gates is ultimately convicted and sentenced, regaining his voting rights will depend on the policy of Virginia's next governor. If McAuliffe's policy is left in place, Gates would most likely have to make a request to the Secretary of the Commonwealth to have his voting rights restored.